All right, welcome. Got another Google Pixel 7 case review. We have a ton of them here for you. We have, again, a weird named case. As you can tell, these two are the same, just different colors. Let's see, it is the... Huali? Huale? I'm assuming, I have no idea. I don't know where they come up with these names. Huale case for the Google Pixel 7 Pro, shockproof protection, dual layer. And now I have, I'll link this in the description. So if you're going to check it out for the for yourself, you can and go straight to this page. They have a purple color, which we have on the left. They have a black color, classic blue, clear, then the green, matcha green, which is this. Now the clear one, I don't think is a dual layer, but these, these are. So let's check them out. Only 10 bucks, pretty good deal. Um, decent construction i do like this because it's grippy on the sides you have the engraved inside for good heat dissipation you have a air pocket in all four corners which is good you have nice size cutouts you got the 5g antenna cut out you got the mic cut out and then you do have real nice camera protection right there which is what i like now this is dual layer you got these silver buttons, which look cool. Now, can you take this apart? Or is it basically stuck together? Yeah, you can take it apart. See? And that's good. I like the dual layer with the soft inside. This is soft, and then this is hard shell on the outside. So that's good for uh, um, impact absorption when you drop the device. Let's go ahead and snap it on and see how it fits. We'll put both on just so y'all can see what it looks like. This is the matcha green. That looks really cool. Um, I really like this. For 10 bucks. I think this is a good buy. The buttons, really easy to push. Real clicky. Real easy. Got a lot of camera protection here. It is raised. So your camera will not get scratched if you lay it on its back. Got nice cutouts. Nice big charging port cutout, speaker cutout. And then you do have your your uh, speaker up top, a little cutout up there. Let's see the... It does have a decent lip protection, not a... Big one. I'd, I'd probably like to see a little bigger, but that'll still protect the screen. You can lay it lay it face down, and it's not going to scratch. Really nice. Let's see what the other one looks like. Easy to take off. That's nice. Again, this is the same construction, same design, just a different color. see what this looks like oh wow yeah that's nice I wouldn't use the purple one but uh, I'm sure my wife or uh, if you're a girl would or a woman would, would like this color it looks real nice with the white phone with the silver camera strip on the back Again, you should be able to see this, see how a little better since it's a lighter color border. Little lip protection, not a lot, but I think just enough. I would build, feel comfortable taking this case outside, uh, to be honest with you. Not a lot of cases I recommend for outside usage. This one should protect you from a, I don't know, I think they claim 10 foot drop protection, but let's see... Let's see, what does it say? It, I thought it said, there we go. Yep, 10 foot drop protection. They claim they dropped it at a height of 10 feet over 3,200 times with zero device damage. Military certification drop protection. I... Listen, I don't, I don't, it's not necessarily, I don't believe them. Because you'll see a ton of these cases say, 
oh, military certified drop protection. But where's their certification? Is a military, U.S. military really certifying these? I don't, I don't think so. I think they're just, again, they don't get punished for making false claims. Um, you can say whatever you want, and it's basically up to us, the consumer, to believe them or not. There's nobody double-checking this. The military's not drop testing, a, you know, the brand new Pixel 7 Pro. And it, they're, it's not like they're twiddling their fingers waiting for this device to come out for them to drop test them, you know, and certify these cases. Um, I, it's just a claim they can make. I don't think this would survive a 10-foot drop, to be completely honest with you. But from the waist down, maybe three feet, four feet, maybe on concrete, maybe. Um, definitely indoor usage, yes. Office usage, yes. Car, yes. Gym, yes. Outside, I would say probably. I mean, it's better to have this one on than maybe having a. Where's my thin case? It's better to have this case on than having this thin case, right? Because I don't take this one outside, but I probably would, or, or maybe use that one outside. So I'll give it, I'll give it outside certification. I just do outside, yes, inside, yes. Um, and it's obviously up to y'all, but um, I would feel okay using this outside, but I don't think it would survive a 10 foot drop. There's, I guarantee you, there's no way they dropped it 3,200 times from 10 feet and the phone didn't have any damage. So. It is what it is. You'll have to use your brains and figure that out on your own. But um, just letting you know, I don't believe these case companies with their drop certifications. Uh, but anyways, um, nice case. And uh, I'll link it in the description. So if you all want to check it out yourself, you'd be more than uh, happy to do that. Peace.